Hi, I'm Bob Watkin. You're watching our Faster Blaster Robotic Blast Cleaner provide a commercial finish on the first pass and a near white on the second. While you're watching the blasting and painting process, I want to tell you how to increase your overall production rates and how to lower your labor and material costs considerably. Production rates and cost efficiency for blasting and painting a tank will depend on many factors. The equipment selected for blasting, the thickness and toughness of the material being removed, the required cleanliness specification, methods and equipment used for painting, the efficiency of the blasting and painting crew, the inspector and his positive or negative effect on the project, and of course the weather which can affect the amount of dew or sweat on the tank in the morning, the ambient conditions required for painting, and then there's rain which can stop the work altogether and often cause a considerable amount of reblast. The most important thing is the method of blasting. As you can see, the operator of this machine is cleaning the open areas of the tank 10 to 15 times quicker than a man using a blast nozzle. There are cut-in areas where the nozzle is required, of course, but the broad areas of the external walls, the roof, the internal walls and floor should be completed with the high production machine. Only one machine is required since this unit can blast both vertical and horizontal surfaces. Since the cut-in work is usually minimal, it should be conducted on the opposite side of the tank simultaneously with the machine work, so both are completed around the same time. It should be obvious that the labor cost here is considerably reduced since one man operates the remote controlled machine and one man does the painting. The machine emits no dust, so painting can be conducted right alongside the blast process. This method of painting up right behind the machine eliminates the reblast, which often occurs due to rain in the afternoons. Since the painting can be started early, one man can keep up with the machine, and all he needs is a single spider lift or a boom basket. Setting up 20-foot stages late in the afternoon for three or four painters is now a thing of the past. The machine uses steel shot and grit and recycles it over and over. The paint dust is automatically deposited in a 55-gallon drum. The labor, material, and handling cost of expensive containment and cleanup is virtually eliminated. The media cost is also considerably less since the shot usage is minimal compared with the tons of sand, black beauty, or copper slag that would normally be used. Okay, it should be obvious that you need to have a faster blaster to clean tanks efficiently, but to really utilize the cost and time-saving advantages, you must take two additional steps in your operation. Step one, you must have an understanding with your customer during the contract signing process that you just can't afford to lose your blast to rain and that you're going to start painting within an hour after the blasting starts and the inspector needs to be there early and the painting process will be ongoing throughout the day. Step two, plan to have a JLG boom lift on site to facilitate the painting process. As you can see, the painter is barely keeping up with the machine, even though he's spraying. So the boom will help keep him mobile and improve his efficiency. A single sky climber basket could also work. No stages. They're hard to transport, they're always in the way, and they take a lot of work to set up and move around. Well, thanks for watching. I've got the machine you need and more money-saving tips, so give me a call at 770-757-4944.